okay for this session basically we want to look at the conflict of the port between the web goat as well as the oax zap and in this particular window i have my web goat running so you can see it is running and over here i actually have my zap which is in this particular folder normally for a student you will use uh, you will just double click to run the zap and then work with it but i would like to push this particular session a bit further and to show the options so i'll be using the command line to run as well as to change the options inside the zap so just let me run zap from the command line okay i'm getting a certificate expired okay doesn't matter i'll just close this and you will see that i'm getting a problem uh, error message which cannot listen to port local host 8080 that's because this port 8080 is being held by my web good right. anyway i'll just click ok and i'll close this so what is causing the problem is actually at the tools option at this local proxy and here is where the port number is actually set of course uh, you can actually change this port number to an unused number and click ok and that actually will solve the problem uh, but i want to solve the problem not using the gui i want to solve the problem by using the options from the command line in case you need to do scripting or programming so i'll just close this i'll cancel this again i will close my zap all right so my zap is uh, actually closed now and i will run zap again but this time i will give it an option which is port so let's say i call it eight zero uh nine one okay let's see let's try this port okay all right i'm still getting the certificate error but anyway i will ignore this uh but this time you don't get the error of the conflict between a0 a0 the, the port a0 0 a0 you are going into Z. let's see whether this uh, option actually does the actual change so we'll go into tools to verify this then the options and the local proxy and you can see this is now changed well, originally it was actually a0 a0 but now it has been changed to 8091 because of the options inside the command line which is the port right so there is a lot of options you can actually run from the command line to make the change and the good thing about running it from a command line is once you have verified it uh, to be working the way you want it you can actually put it into a script and then or a batch file and you can actually activate it from there so this is the second solution or second method of solving this 8080 conflict.